I'm Sherry and this is Flannel Acres. Today I'm going to talk to you about the beehives. It's been a while since I've done an update on them and it looks like they're doing all right. It's getting cold out and there's some things that I need to do to help them get through the winter okay. I've got some stuff I brought out with me. I've got some rope, some duct tape, a knife. Um, I've got some wooden shims and I've got some bee medicine. Let me take you over to the hives and show you what I'm up to. Alright, one of the things that I want to do for the bees is to shelter them a little bit better. Uh, we have some tree cover around here which will help somewhat with uh, snow drifting and stuff. Uh, but I also want to um, surround the hives with some blue, fo blue foam board. I'm going to cut it to size and wrap that around there and secure it. So hopefully that will help insulate the hives a little better and they won't get quite as cold and they'll be able to stay warm and, and that. So that's what I'm going to do for that. I'm also going to tilt the hives forward towards the front entrance a little bit. During the winter, when they're staying warm in their hive, they create some steam which creates condensation on the underside of the lid of the hive. If that condensation starts to drip on the bees, the bees will die. Uh, they say wet bees are dead bees and we don't want them to get wet. So if I tilt the hives toward the entrance, that anything that drips will go towards the front of the hive and drip down and out the entrance of the hive. Another thing I'm going to do for the hives is put this in. This is called an entrance reducer. And I'll get the camera and I'll show you what this does. So this is the normal entrance of the hive right here. And you can see it's wide enough I can fit my hand in there. But it's also wide enough that mice can get in there. And mice, if they get into your hives, I hear they can do a lot of damage and eat the honey and kind of ruin things in there. So this entrance reducer will not only help keep the mice out, but it'll probably keep some of the warmth in the hive and keep snow from getting in there. So if you look at this, it's got two different entrance sizes just by turning it. And I think I'm going to do the smallest one. I don't know if there's any rhyme or reason to the size differences there probably is but I'm gonna do the smallest one I know there's mice around here in the woods so we're just gonna make sure that they can't get in there oh I get it too far okay that looks about right so we'll do that on the other hive too probably notice I don't have a bee suit on today. The bees are huddled into their hives and I don't think they're going to come out and bother me. It's kind of chilly today. It's probably about 45, 48 degrees out and I got that stuck in there too far. So I think that um, the bee suit's unnecessary today. There, that looks about right. Okay, now I'm going to get the hives tipped up and I brought some wooden shims out for that. Just, you know, things that you put in the doorways when you're putting in a new doorway. So we're going to try that and see if that works. that people do for their hives especially in northern states and in Canada they secure their hives so that bears can't get in them now that's something that we haven't done here um, I know there have been bears in recent like very recent years in our area um, but just a day or two ago I heard there was a bear sighting about two miles from here I think that it might be time to start considering securing the hives so the bears don't get in there and destroy it but that's something that um, my husband and I will have to talk over and see what the best option is for that. I think maybe some tie down straps or something like that might help somewhat. I know bears are really strong, so I'm not sure what all can be done about that, but um, we'll be 
talking about that here shortly. All right, what I'm gonna do next is get the foam board and start lining it up with the hives and um, marking lines on them and cutting them. Uh, what I brought out was a kitchen knife to cut it. I hope that that works okay. If it doesn't, I'll find something else, but we'll get started on that. Something you gotta make sure to do is when you're covering your hive to shelter them, you don't wanna attach anything to the lid um, or put anything over it. You need to be able to open the hive um, if you get a warmer day in the winter so you can check on them. So leave it so that you can get into your hive still. that's at the top of your hive or wherever you have a vent hole in your hive. suit on they started coming out quite a bit and they were either coming out to thank me for all my hard work or something else so just erring on the side of caution I put it on um, since I've come back out looks like they've gone back in so go figure um, I got all the foam board pieces cut and I'm going to put them on and secure the corners with duct tape and then wrap with rope hopefully that'll work to do for the bees during the winter is feed them. They do have some honey in there that they made over the summer but I'm not sure if that's enough to get them by in the winter. So there's a couple things that can be done. You can get a syrup feeder and feed them syrup during the winter or you can um, do different things with sugar. I'm going to try to make some sugar cakes. It's basically mixing sugar and water and putting it into a pan and letting it dry. It's like a giant sugar cube basically. So I'm going to try that this winter and see how it goes. I'm a rookie. We'll see what happens. Okay, so it looks like I've got everything secure here. Got the foam board around the hives, and hopefully that'll stay and keep them warm. They're tipped forward so condensation can go towards the front. And that's what we're going to do for now. Um, during the winter, if we get a warm enough day, I might check on them um, just to see, make sure they're still alive. Uh, we can't open the hives when it's freezing out because that's too harsh on them. So we'll just see how the winter goes and maybe I'll be able to, to peek in on them from time to time. Otherwise, we'll wait till spring and then we'll do some more things for spring to get them ready for the summer. All right, I'll see you guys later. Thanks for watching.